Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today I'm gonna to be basically sharing with you my full Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection and show you swatches of what they look like on my lips as well. Charlotte Tilbury isn't the most accessible brand. She doesn't have counters like absolutely everywhere like most brands do. So I thought this video would be quite helpful if anyone was trying to order a lipstick online and they couldn't get down to a counter and they just wanted to see what the colors looked like. So all of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I've got here with me. Obviously I haven't managed to fill this whole tray of like, I think this tray is like 24 or something like that. But I have got 14 lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. So yeah, I have got quite a few to get through. I'm gonna be swatching them all on my lips, as I said. So hopefully my lips are still on my face at the end of this video. I feel like my lips are literally just probably gonna like, you know crisp off by the end because I'll be swatching and removing so much but anyways it's fine so yeah as I said I've got 14 lipsticks to show you and then I do also have two of her Hollywood liquid lipsticks as well um in my collection which I'll also show at the end these are probably my favorite liquid lipsticks I've ever tried from any brand although I'm not a massive liquid lipstick person anyway so that's why I only have two um of these ones so yeah I much prefer like a lipstick as opposed to a liquid lipstick just because my lips generally are more dry so I prefer to have mm -hmm. a more so I prefer to have more of a hydrating lipstick on but yeah so I will show these at the end anyway right so I'm gonna do my best to kind of go from lightest to darkest but I will say the majority of the ones that I own tend to be more nude pink and then I have a few darker ones, but I'm not really a dark lip type of girl. I tend to stick to more pinks, mauves and nudes. So that's what most of my collection is. I have one red and then I have like a few, like a coral and then a slightly darker colour. But most of these lipsticks are nude and pink. So yeah, so I'm going to go in kind of like a colour order from lightest to darkest. Um, and I'm also not going to be using lip liners in this video. I'm just going to literally be showing you what the lipsticks look like because um, I don't really have time to apply and lip liner for every single lipstick there is a lot to get through and also I can't be bothered so yeah so yeah let's just get straight into it so first lipstick that I'm going to be trying on is the Charlotte Tilbury bitch perfect lipstick this is probably my most used Charlotte Tilbury lipstick as you can see it's not really got much left in the bullet I don't know if it's going to focus it's not really got much left in the bullet this is probably my most used lipstick just because it's really easy wearable color to where it goes with literally everything and it's that perfect sort of creamy texture so this is bitch perfect on my lips as you can see it goes perfectly with this kind of makeup look because it's a little bit more intense so this is just like the perfect nude I literally love this color I wear it all the time I absolutely love it and it is a kissing formula as well so the kissing formula from Charlotte Tilbury means that they're slightly more creamy and a little bit more hydrating and shiny so yeah this is bitch perfect this next one is actually an online exclusive and I believe it's limited edition but this one is the Miss Kensington lipstick and this is a matte revolution so this one is matte and a little bit more sort of less shiny and creamy on the lips but I actually really really like this colour I haven't really worn this one that much um, I've only really worn it a few times um, because it's one of my newer ones in my collection but it's actually a really pretty sort of pinky nude colour yeah, so this is Miss Kensington. Again, it goes really nicely with the makeup that I'm wearing because it's quite nude, but it, this one is a little bit more pink, so it's got a little bit more of that sort of like Barbie pink vibes to it, which I actually really like, and it does feel very, very comfortable and hydrating on my lips as well. So yeah, I really like this one. I'm going to say that about all of them. <laughs> Literally, I'm going to say that about all of them, but genuinely, like, I do really enjoy the colours that Charlotte Tilbury has. So the next lipstick that I have to show you is Super Cindy. This one is a matte lipstick as well. This one is kind of like a pinky nude with a little bit of an orange undertone to it I really really enjoy this one as well I wear this one um, quite often I've got through quite a lot of it this one actually looks really really nice with a slightly darker lip liner on as well so yeah that one is super Cindy as you can see it's a little bit more orangey a little bit more coral but I really really enjoy this color it is so pretty right so the next lipstick that I'm going to show you is pillow talk this is probably the most talked about Charlotte Tilbury lipstick there is so yeah um, I'm not going to sort of harp on this one too much I think you probably we all know what it looks like but I'm just going to show you what it looks like on me this one is the perfect kind of universal mauvey pink nude it works well on pretty much everyone and yeah it's probably one of my most used lipsticks as well like um I'm nearly finished on this one as well and this one is a matte revolution lipstick yeah so this is pillow talk obviously as you can see it's just like that kind of perfect everyday color it's kind of like a your lips but better color is how I would describe it it feels super comfortable on the lips I always wear this with obviously the pillow talk lip liner which is the matching 
matching lip liners to go with it and yeah it's just genuinely like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time and i feel like everyone needs this lipstick in their collection right so the next lipstick that i'm going to show you is actually my all-time favorite um charlotte tilbury lipstick i've actually had this lipstick for ages but i've only really sort of recently gotten into using it and it genuinely is like my favorite probably my favorite lipstick of all time but definitely my favorite charlotte tilbury lipstick and it is the charlotte tilbury stoned rose lipstick this lipstick is just perfect like i just love the way this looks on my skin tone it's kind of like a corally nude it's got quite a lot of brown and orange in it but i really like this because it's not a traditional typical nude it's got something a little bit different about it but it is still very neutral at the same time so yeah i absolutely love this one it's definitely one of my favorite lipsticks of all time so yeah, this is Stoned Rose On. I probably wouldn't wear this lipstick with this eye makeup, but I just absolutely love this colour lipstick. I don't know what it is. I just really, really love it. I feel like my lips are just getting bigger and bigger as we're going because I'm just like rubbing the wipe on them and they're just getting like all the blood to the surface. They just look so pouty right now. So the next lipstick that I'm going to show you is this is again an online exclusive and this is the Confession lipstick, which is the newer sort of online exclusive that she's bought out. And this is actually a really pretty sort of typical brownie nude shade. This is a kissing formula again, so it's nice and shiny and it's just a really nice sort of everyday nude kind of colour you can tell that I like my nude lipsticks it's literally all I have um but yeah this one is really really pretty so this is confession it actually looks perfect with this makeup look this is the type of lipstick that I would wear with this makeup I really really like this colour I feel like this is probably I haven't really used this one that much yet because it's a newer one in my collection but this is probably going to become one of my favourites I can already feel me just like really really liking this one I just love the way that it looks against my skin I just think it's it's a really nice nude colour. In case you couldn't tell, I don't really like those nudes that are like very, very pale and wash you out. I kind of like nudes that still give you a little bit of colour and a little bit of life in the lips. And this is like that perfect colour for me. So the next lipstick that I have to show you again is an online exclusive. And this is in the shade Rose Kiss. This one is a matte revolution. And this one is kind of more like a, as it would suggest, like a rosy kind of colour. So more of a sort of deeper pink shade, which is actually really, really pretty. Haven't really worn this one yet to be honest. I haven't really like discovered if I like it or not because I haven't really tried it out properly yet. This is Rose Kiss, a little bit darker than what I would usually go for for every single day, but it's actually a really, really pretty shade. Yeah, I really, really like this one. So the next shade that I have to show you is the shade Blushing Dream. This actually came in a set with the last lipstick that I showed with a Pillow Talk lip liner included as well. So these, I do believe you can only buy as a set together, but this is a really pretty kind of more corally, a little bit more um, bright shade. Actually saying that, it's quite pink actually. Again, I haven't really worn this one that much yet. This one is a kissing formula as well, by the way. So yeah, this is Blushing Dream. It's a really pretty pinky sort of corally colour, actually. I really, really like this one. It's super cute. It's like really, really nice sort of kind of more summery colour, I think. So the next shade that I have to show you is Coachella Coral. This one is more of like your typical bright coral shade. This one, again, I would only really wear sort of more summertime. Um, it is quite bright and vibrant. And this is a kissing formula as well, but it's actually really, really beautiful on. So yeah, this is Coachella Coral. I don't really wear this one that often just because it is quite bright and vibrant, but I think it is a super beautiful colour, especially like I said for summer. It's so, so nice. So the next shade is Secret Salma. This is from the Hot Lips collection. So this one is a matte revolution and this one is a really nice deep pinky mauvey colour. I actually really, really enjoy wearing this one. I usually do put a gloss over the top of it, but it's actually a really nice colour for if I want to go a little bit darker than like a traditional nude colour. This is kind of like MAC if anyone's got Mac Mer, then it is very similar. So yeah, this is Secret Salma, really, really nice, kind of mauvey sort of pink shade, really, really beautiful. I love this one so, so much. Right, so the next shade is Berry Victoria. This is the one that actually Meghan Markle always wears. This one is very similar to Pillow Talk, but it's just a touch darker. So it's that same sort of mauvey tone, but it's just a tiny bit darker than Pillow Talk. 
So yeah, this is very Victoria. It's a super beautiful shade. I wouldn't really wear this one as much as I would wear the more neutral ones, but it is still a really, really nice shade for sort of every day. And it's a little bit deeper. So if you wanted something a little bit more deeper than a traditional nude, then this is really, really pretty. So one of the more darker shades that I have is Bond Girl. This one is kind of like a little bit lighter than a true red, but it's not a nude. It's kind of somewhere in between a nude and a red. This is really, really pretty. This one is a matte revolution as well. So yeah, this is Bond Girl. A little bit darker than what I would usually wear for every day, but for a night out, if you're just doing like a winged liner, this would actually look really pretty. It is a matte revolution, so I'd probably wear a gloss on top, but it's just a really nice sort of deeper berry sort of mauve colour. It's really, really nice. Right, onto the last lipstick. This is Red Carpet Red, which is a matte revolution, and this one is my only kind of true red that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a really nice, as I say, true sort of like Marilyn Monroe red. I really, really enjoy this one. This is pretty much the only red that I ever wear when I wear red lips. So this is Red Carpet Red. It's such a beautiful red. This is like the perfect red for me. It's not too deep where it looks too sort of burgundy, but it's not too bright. I just love this red. It's so, so nice. I like the fact that it's actually a matte one because I feel like with red, I prefer it to be a little bit more matte. So yeah, I absolutely adore this red. Right, now moving on to the liquid lipsticks that I have. So I'm gonna start off with the sort of lightest shade. This is Charlotte Darling. And this is a really nice, nice sort of pale nude so if I want to go really pale and I want it to be matte and long lasting this is the one that I always go for it's really really nice so yeah this is Charlotte Darling it doesn't look that great because I've put it over the top of like just recently taken off red lips but yeah it's really really pretty sort of easy to wear comfortable nude I really really like this one so the last liquid lipstick and the last lipstick that I have to show you is the Hollywood liquid lips in too bad I'm bad this one is more of sort of a mauvey pinkish sort of shade it's really really nice I really like this one I've literally said that about every single one but I really do like these colours otherwise I wouldn't have bought them this is Too Bad I'm Bad. It's a really nice, kind of Kylie Jenner, this kind of reminds me of, sort of colour. Really nice for sort of every day and more summer, I feel like. Right, so that is it for the video, guys. That is every single Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I own swatched for you. My lips literally feel like they're about to fall off. I'm honestly going to go and like smother them in lip balm right now because they feel so dry. But it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. By the way, if you do um, want to see how I got this kind of makeup look, I am going to be posting that on my channel very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which lipstick was your favourite. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.